Today's devotion comes from the book Maranatha. The stars of heaven fall. The stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Matthew 24 verse 29. In 1833, the last of the signs appeared which were promised by the Savior as the token of his second advent. Said Jesus, the stars shall fall from heaven. And John in Revelation declared, as he beheld in vision a sin that should herald the day of God. The stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as the fig tree cast a untimely fig when she shaken off the mighty wind. This prophecy received a striking, impressive fulfillment in the great meteoric shower of November 13, 1833. That was the most extensive and wonderful display of falling stars which has ever been recorded. The whole firmament over the United States being then for hours in fiery commotion, no celestial phenomenon has ever occurred in this country since its first settlement, which was viewed with such intense and admiration by one class in the community, or with so much dread and alarm by another. Its sublimity and awful beauty still lingers in many minds. Never did rain fall much thicker than the meteor fell toward the earth, east, west, north, and south. It was all the same. In a word, the whole heaven seems to be in motion. The display and the description described in Professor Seliman's journal were seen all over North America, from 2 o'clock until broad daylight. An incessant play of dazzling brilliant luminosity was kept up in the whole heaven. R.M. Darwin, American Progress, or the Great Event of the Greatest Century, Chapter 28, Paragraph 1 to 5. Thus was displayed the last of those signs of his coming concerning which Jesus bade his disciple, When ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. After these signs, John beheld as the great event next in painting, the heaven depending as a scroll, while the earth quaked, mountains and islands removed out of their place, and the wicked in terror thought to flee from the presence of the Son of Man. But the day and the hour of his coming, Christ is not revealed. The exact time of the second coming of the Son of Man is God's mystery.